society. We support persons living with dementia and care partners. Um, our goal is to see people live well and thrive in their communities. So we offer a variety of programs and services to help achieve that. We run support groups for care partners. We have supportive counseling services for the person with dementia and for care partners. We have navigation, which helps people who are newly diagnosed kind of learn the ropes, navigate the system. We have education groups for persons living with dementia and care partners, as well as for the general public and health professionals. We have some social rec programs, uh, things like Minds in Motion, which is um, an eight-week program that combines physical exercise and cognitive stimulation, uh, as well as some art programs and music programs that we are, um, we've developed over COVID, so they, they are currently online, but some great additions to help people live well, um, socialize with other people, and um, get some enjoyment out of the different activities. Some people come to us who are overwhelmed and unsure of what these, this means. Some people come to us who are, um, you know, optimistic and looking for ways to manage and live well. So when they come through our doors, we hope they're greeted with a, a friendly face and a friendly voice. Um, we talk through their situation, kind of get some information about where they are and what they're hoping to, to do or learn. Um, and then get them connected within our own prog programs and services for things that might be helpful. Um, or al also connecting them outwards into the, into the community for other um, external services that they could also find benefit from. We do get some funding from Ontario Health to, to run uh, some of our programs and services, but 40% of our operational costs we need to raise through fundraising efforts and donations. So the IG Wealth Management Walk for Alzheimer's this year we are asking people throughout the month of May to walk. Um, we're asking them to take 10,500 steps for the 10,500 people who are living here in Simcoe County with a dementia. On May 29th, we are coming together to celebrate and uh, we'll be going to the Simcoe County Museum. Uh, we'll have food, vendors, and entertainment throughout the day. Uh, we'll also have a trail set up throughout the museum grounds for people who might choose to do their walk that day. Um, but it's really looking, we're really hoping that it'll be a fun family event that people will choose to drop into. If people are um, wanting to register or donate, uh, they can go to our website, Alzheimer's Society, SimcoeCounty.ca. You'll find all of the walk information and a link to register. You can also call our office and we'll help direct you that way as well. Also this year, in conjunction with the walk, we're holding our first ever uh, online auction. So that will run May 22nd up till midnight on June 5th. Again, information about the auction will be, held, uh, will be found on our website. Um, and we're still looking for donations uh, of items for the, the auction, as well as um, you know, looking for people to register and uh, help support the walk. Events like this, like the IG Wealth Management Walk for Alzheimer's is so important because it helps us to, to have enough funds to continue the programs and services that we're offering in the community. Last year we raised $100,000 and this year our goal is a little higher. We're hoping to, um, hoping to hit the $200,000 mark. All of our services that we provide to, to our clients are, um, is free of charge. Um, with, with a few little exceptions, but for the most part, they're free of charge and we want to keep it that way. We want to make sure that our services and programs are accessible um, and affordable to the people who, who really need them. Your donations really do matter in that support. Um, so we're encouraging the community to yeah, have that awareness, join us for the walk, but also help spread the word. Um, you know, we really want to create a dementia-friendly community here in Simcoe County. And really the bottom line is we want to see people live well.